Hey, Pastor G, just quickly want to do a, a tutorial for Monday, August 30 for Bible. So we're going to kick off uh, with a, a clip from one of Dr. Rabbi Zachariah's response to an atheist, since we've been talking about, you know, intelligent design and biblical responses to non-belief and skepticism and criticism uh, in apologetics. And I, I understand that there was there is controversy. Well, there's not really controversy that, that Dr. Zacharias fell. And we won't use a lot of uh, his material, but uh, this is a really good response. And he deals with the whole thing of naturalism, which I want to talk about with our apologetic students real quick. And so just, you know, kind of kick off with that video. It's about seven to eight minutes long, so it's not super long. And just kind of see, let them see his response to the question and some of the dialogue he has with the atheist student. And then explain, uh, I've got for you here, the, the definition of naturalism. In philosophy, naturalism is the idea or belief that only natural laws and forces operate in the universe. Adherents of naturalism assert that natural laws are the only rules that govern the structure and behavior of the natural world and that the changing universe is at every stage a product of these laws. So essentially naturalism teaches that free will is a myth. We're all just the sum of our parts or you know, we, we are basically controlled by whatever experience has shaped us. It's really strange, but we're not free and everything about us is completely determined. But then we, then this student is asking questions out of his own free will. And that's what Zacharias confronts him with. Were you even free to ask the question you're asking about Christianity, you know, and, and how it deals with naturalism? Um, you know, how, how do totally determined people have the freedom to freely seek purpose, truth and meaning, which all naturalists do? You know, they have morals uh, and they fall in love and and they, you know. They ask questions because they think the questions are meaningful, but then they turn around and say there's no meaning to this question. And it's all really heady and confusing. And, when, and we want to teach our students when something is is very when it's very vague like that, when you can't nail it down. What exactly are these naturalists teaching? Do they even understand themselves? It's like the guy who said there is no absolute truth. And you asked him, is that absolutely true? Yeah, you know, he doesn't know what to say to that because he just contradicted his own his own point. So, you know, we, we want to help our students understand that. But there's a great quote here, and I, and I put it in text. It's also in the video by David Berlinski. And, and he was an, an agnostic, but he was responding in this quote to Richard Dawkins' book, The God Delusion. And, and he counter, countered with his book, The Devil's Delusion, who is not a Christian. He's not an advocate for Christianity, but he's telling Dawkins that the naturalistic point of view doesn't make any sense. Because if we don't have free will, if we don't have meaning, then then why would we be talking about any of this at all? So what I want you to do in class is kind of walk through the questions. Has anyone ever produced proof of God's in existence? And the answer is no. Has quantum cosmology explained the existence of the universe and why it is here? The answer is no. And there are several other questions there, but ask the students. So do you guys think the answer is no? Do you have a different answer? Do you believe, do you agree with David Berlinski on this? And just walk through those questions and have some class discussion. But it's so interesting, you know, Stephen Hawking, probably the, one of the smartest minds ever on earth when it came to uh, physics. He said, I don't know if we are determined or not. He questioned naturalism. I don't know if we're determined or not, but since it eliminates freedom, I might as well not be. <laughs> yeah, so if I'm not going to be free, I might as well not be determined because I want to be free. Because if you're totally determined and you, you are pre-wired to think the way you do, you know, can you even make a truth claim? Can you even assert that any of your positions, any of your presuppositions, any of your points of view have any validity because you're not even a free, autonomous, sentient being to make them? Um, if, if you are making a truth claim, then you're rising above the subjectivity of naturalism. And the moment you do, you're violating it. <laughs> you're violating this guy, excuse me, <clears throat> this concept of determinism. So it's heady stuff, I know. But even with ninth and 10th grade, I think we can have some good discussion once they kind of understand, well, this perspective falls apart on itself because it's a perspective that says we can't ask free questions. That's asking free questions. Um, they are not required to do journals this week. Uh, I have made a video 
kind of detailing what it what journals might look like. Some of them are, you know, just writing the basics. Some of them are putting some more. Some of them seem a little confused. So we want to make sure they know what it means to do a journal. So I made a video you can show in class about that. Or you can just take I put the the scriptures and my thoughts on all the PowerPoints. It's at the end of the PowerPoints. So for Luke four, you have it at the end of that PowerPoint and apologetics of uh, 4B, you have it at the end of that PowerPoint if you just want to walk through it yourself. I know you'll be bring great thoughts to the table. And G, if you want to, you don't have to use my material. You know, if you want to journal those four passages and show them what you would say, how you would approach journals, I think that'd be great as well. But anyway, we're going to do journals together in class so they don't have to turn in any journals this week because we're going to be doing it as part of our course content. Uh, so yeah, we'll talk through that. And uh, this is it for Monday and I'll do some tutorials for the other days. Thanks, G. Appreciate you, brother.